My name is Skylar Borglum, and I am in the very, very last sprint of my PhD program. The dissertation's been successfully defended. I have a couple hours worth of edits left to do, and then I graduate in May. I graduated from high school in 1995, promptly moved out to Tacoma, Washington, where I studied international business and my language was Norwegian. So I finished that degree and then I moved to Oslo, Norway, studied at the University of Oslo. I came home from Norway and for a year was the world's worst legal secretary. From there went and earned my first master's and that was in theological studies at Duke and finished out and realized that having put myself through school, I now really needed to earn a living. Topped out as a specialty pharmaceutical sales professional. I moved back to Montana and earned a second master's degree. That from there, I was employed by Marathon Oil to work in the Bakken. Then the oil boom busted, so I decided to pack up and move to Rapid City, and I finished my bachelor's in petroleum engineering at Montana Tech while I was doing my research and finishing my doctorate at South Dakota School of Mines. So I graduated with a second bachelor's last May, and I will graduate with my doctorate in geological engineering in May. So I was first introduced to Sarah Fosland when I was traveling to Moscow to present my research in October of 2016. And the, the trip was very expensive, so a number of departments on campus stepped up to help me cover my expenses, one of which was WISE. And Sarah and her group covered the food expenses for me for the trip. And her generosity to me spoke volumes. At that point, she didn't know me. She just knew that there was this engineer who was going to go present to, to a group of foreign nationals. So I said to her afterward, if you ever need me to step in or participate, if you would ever like me to talk to your group, I'm happy to do so, this is something I enjoy. So she and I put our heads together and came up with a couple of different, what I would call coffee seminars. So the students could come in, they can ask me questions. I would talk a little bit about time management. We have 168 hours in a week. How are we going to navigate our time so that we get good work done but we're not killing ourselves in the process, right? When I meet women who are fellow engineers and scientists and researchers, I meet women who are intelligent and tough and funny and passionate and smart. They're just, they're great. They're absolutely great to work with. You know, there are some very smart women who are scientists. For example, Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany, Margaret Thatcher, the Prime Minister. There is a small but distinct group of, of women who have come out of the sciences and gone into policy and policy making statesmanship because they believe there was a, a need there for them. I believe that need is there for me right now. So I am running for House Representative of District 32 in Rapid City. I love a book club. I will start a book club for anything. I put down about 85 books a year. One book that would surprise you that you would not expect to really enjoy is Arnold Schwarzenegger's autobiography, Total Recall, My Unbelievably True Life Story. This is one of the best books I've ever read. I, and I had to, I say that as a, as a feminist, okay? The man is awesome. I'm not a direct descendant, and I certainly do not get royalties from Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> Which if I did, I wouldn't have to worry about any student loan payments. Yeah. <laughs>